Corruption was the other offspring of the boom years. It was nothing new to Trinidad and Tobago, but for the first time, it was on so large a scale. The influx of, of US dollars now meant that the deals involved millions. Now, what is the reason? The, the reason is partly the tradition of corruption in Trinidad, but partly with the pressures now on um, the bureaucracies. People were simply creaming off, you know, uh, varying percentages from uh, on all the projects, whether you're talking about projects in the utilities, projects all over, people are simply taking percentages. Now this comes about, corruption comes about for a number of reasons. One is that you find, that, again, the, the presence of a lot of money. Two, the fact that the systems in place allow or permit of corruption. I'm talking now about what one would call petty or, or mid-level corruption, corruption by people in, in, in the civil service, in the public service at various levels. But I think that I don't think that, in, that, that corruption here was of such an order that, that could be compared with corruption uh, as has been talked about in other parts of the world. 